Crossfire Wrestling, did you miss this face? It's been almost a decade. I was called by Crystal Plot and I said, you're wrestling Mike Skyros. And I started the song and dance. Mike Skyros, he's too old, out with the old, in with the new. No, no, that's not how it works. Just because I've been out of the game doesn't mean I've lost a step. Ask everybody else I've beat over the past six months. And nothing's gonna change, I'm gonna come in to Crossfire Wrestling, and it's gonna be whose house? It's Mark's house, and Skyros, the moonlight sun, the man of the hour, making waves everywhere. You got nothing on me, man. Because Crossfire Wrestling was my home for years. I held that championship, and I held it for a long time, and I have beaten all the greats before I had to bow out. But now I'm back, baby! I'm like Skyros. I'm gonna show you and everybody else whose house it really is. Good. Mark, I gotta say, I don't know where you're shooting your promos these days, but I'm a little concerned. You look like you're being held captive somewhere. I really hope you can make it to our match on the 16th at Crossfire, but as long as you show up, you said a few things I found very interesting. You are a former Crossfire champion, so I think beating you would put me in a very good position for a future championship opportunity. And you also said that uh, I got nothing on you. And maybe that was a throwaway comment, like a lot of other people say in promos, but if I remember correctly, didn't I just beat you? Twice? I would choose your words a little more carefully. And when you get in the ring with the Moonlight Sun Mike Skyros on July 16th in St. Catharines, I would choose your actions very carefully. Because when it comes to that match, I don't think you would want to be my next stepping stone. All killer.